Welcome everyone, I'm Kiralis and this is Oculus, Oculus and even more Oculus. And in today's video, we're not going to be unboxing Oculus Rift because it does seem to be out of the box already, so let's just push that to the side. Nor are we going to be unboxing Oculus Quest because that seems to be in the same situation and I don't think I can get this more out of the box even if I tried. However, we will be unboxing this bad boy. This is the latest flagship from Oculus, it is called Oculus Rift S. And first of all, I just want to say thank you so much to Oculus for sending one my way and also for sponsoring today's video and as you can see Oculus I'm a fan but ladies and gentlemen before we start unboxing this before we start playing some games let's just go through some vital key features of this new headset and the first feature which is definitely gonna be my personal favorite is that it has a new built-in tracking system it has five sensors straight on the headset which means you don't have to have any standalone sensors in your room to be able to track your play area everything you need is just on this headset. So you need the headset, you need touch controls, you need two cables plugged into your computer and you're good to go. And that is what makes room scale VR so immersive. Because there's nothing worse playing, being all immersed and then just losing tracking. This is a complete game changer in my book. It also comes with a brand new redesigned headband, also known as a Halo headband. And I haven't really seen it up close and personal, but I did read some articles and I've seen some pictures of it. And what people say is that it's very ergonomic and the weight distribution is much better than the previous version of the Rift. So I'm eager to check it out. It also has improved optics. So that means it's gonna give you much better colors and also reduce the screen door effect. And with that, I mean, imagine you have a screen door at home, or maybe you do have a screen door, but they're usually made out of a mesh material and then imagine looking out on the world through that mesh material. It becomes a little bit squarey. The Oculus Rift S does reduce that significantly, so I guess that is definitely a win-win in my books. Oculus Rift S is available to purchase as we speak. It does retail for around 400 US dollars, and if you guys need more information regarding this unit, or maybe even want to purchase it, there's gonna be a link for that in the description, so make sure you click that. But ladies and gentlemen, wait no further. It's time to unbox, it's time to play some games. You guys move out of the way because I have a new baby now. Let's open this up. And you know what, first of all, let me just take a peek on the back of the box. It does say high performance PC gaming. It does say superior graphics and precision tracking. There's a lot of games here in the back, but there's nothing actually included in the, in the purchase. It is a design by Lenovo, it's worth mentioning, the headset itself. And the moment I've been waiting for at least, let's just slide this off like a so, and let's just put this over there, for example. And let me see here, how does one open? Okay, like this. You guys ready for this? Okay, so we do have a headset, and the beautiful thing about this is that this is the only thing you need. You don't need anything else. You need a headset, you need uh, two cables going into your PC, and you just need the Oculus Touch controls, and that is it. No sensors putting out, just... Complete game changer in my opinion, all right? But let's see here. So we do have our two Oculus Touch controllers and they do feel quite different from, uh, from, the, from the first edition of the Rifts. You know what, let me just see here. Do I have any, I do have one over here. Let's just grab this. And obviously, as you can see, there is a huge difference in the controller itself. It does feel lighter, but there's also gonna be a battery going inside of this, so. I like them. They do feel very nice in, in the, my hands, straight off. Straight off the box. And the headband, as you can see over here, is this, this halo-like. And it looks... It actually looks really, really nice. You can also see the, the sensors. We have one, two, three, four, and five here above for like full full tracking. So even if you, have, if you have your hands above your head, you will be able to track that movement. One big difference between this and the Rift is, I guess, this doesn't have any any headphones, like the old ones, which were on the Rift one, which was on the outside, has been replaced with near-ear uh, speakers, which could be seen just over here on both sides. However, there is a 3.5 millimeter jack on this side, so you could just plug in your own, uh, plug in your own uh, headphones or headset and be good to go. And how does this even work? Let me just see here. Okay, so this, okay. This looks really, really nice and really comfortable. How is this? Okay, that adjusts this. Okay, the, the distance from your eyes. So in the box, we do have obviously the, the headset. We have the two touch controllers. We also have this, which is a display port adapter from a display port to a mini display port. Not even sure I've even seen that one. 
but uh, just in case this is included let's just put it over here we also have a little bit of uh, setting up your rift s leaflet and uh oculus rift s safety and warranty manual as you see over here what else is there that's pretty much it and then we have the batteries so this is so beautiful this is it so we have the complete gaming rig here in front of us so we have the headset we have the oculus touch controllers we have some manuals the display port adapter and batteries and we're ready to go obviously we would need a pc and i do have one over here as well but that is what's in the box ladies and gentlemen i can't wait let's get some gaming done Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Can you imagine having a house with this view? This is this is this is breathtaking. No, you guys are breathtaking. And safety warning when playing. I think the camera's over there. I'm watching you, right? When playing, always use your safety straps. Okay, freaky hands. Because otherwise you're going to be having controllers flying across the room and it's going to be very, very, very bad for you, all right? So I'm not really sure what to play. I did play a game called Brass Tactics quite a bit back in the day. I still do, actually. And there's a similar game to that called Skyworld Kingdom Brawl, which, you know what? I'm old and broken, so I can't do those all heavy action games at this stage. Let's just start with something very, very calm and uh, and peaceful all right and then we're gonna move on to something else i guess but uh skyworld kingdom brawl it is i guess welcome to my kingdom peasants so i just tried a game i'm level two so by any means i'm no professional all right but this is a game just a combination between like a tower defense game and a deck card deck building game so i do have a little bit of a deck build up and this is pretty much the the, the standard one so there's nothing fancy fancy let me just zoom in a little bit on those guys and this is so incredible seeing i'm not sure you guys can even see this but everything here just pops out and it's just so uh, 3d <laughs> this is just uh, absolutely absolutely breathtaking but let me see here so what do we have we have archers we have flying fortresses we have swordsmen we have fire we also have fire bowmen, we have knights, we have catapults, and we have battle balloons. I don't really have much much gold at this stage, but we could also craft, let me just here, uh, craft other characters or other cards later on down the road. What is this guy? Berserker. Oh, you beautiful little thing. Look at this guy. Okay, how much is this guy, by the way? He's two and a half. I have 1900. I'm gonna save up for that. Is that Grof? <laughs> oh man. Like, what I'm experiencing here is, is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love it to bits. So, we could maybe go for a competitive, but I think I'm gonna go with just a brawl against an uh, AI player, because obviously no professional by any means, right? So let's maybe go for an easy opponent to begin with. So just we can so showcase the game a little bit and whatnot, and uh, let's get this show on the road. Hello! Who am I playing against? AI Lieutenant. The game starts in about one second. For honor and glory! For honor and glory! So what do I have? You know what? I need to start doing this quickly, otherwise I'm gonna be overrun and killed instantly. As you can see, we are sending troops on different lines over here, on different paths. Uh, he does have two towers, so that is the main focus in the beginning stages, to destroy those towers over here. Not mine, but his over here. So let's start this over here. Oh, fireball. Fireball. Die! Nope, not dead yet. Catapult's gonna go into the middle. Hopefully we can take a tower, one of his towers over here. Uh, let me see here. What do we have? Fireballman. Fireballman is gonna be going on this. I'm gonna be trying to flank him this way somehow. Not sure that's gonna succeed. Wait, oh, no, 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 no! Fire! Fireballed! Oh my goodness. He launched an offensive here with those air balloons. He's even got more over here. This is absolutely terrible. I can't protect myself against that. Or can I? I don't think I can. 
Okay. This is no bueno, no bueno, archers. And the thing is that I wish I could pause, zoom in on those little people over here and check it out up close and personal because that is what I'm all about. I love checking out details, but I can't. This is just too intense. Catapult in the middle. Swordsman in the middle. Those guys will flank this side. Uh, battle balloon. Okay. Oh, this is getting interesting. Let me just see here what is happening. Okay, air lieutenant. Oh, look at this. Okay, we do have a little bit of archers over here, as you can see. I'm not sure I'm going to sit from the camera, but I'm here. <laughs> I love zooming in. Let's spawn a few extra troops over here. And obviously this is easy. So this is as easy as it gets. As you see, his towers is almost, well, halfway down, I would say, right? Fire on the side. Fire! <laughs> spawn my knights over here. Go, 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 go! Protect the towers over here! Protect the towers over here! This is very, 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 very hectic. Didn't I say I would play like a calm and peaceful game? This is far from that, I guess. Let me just... Turn. Come on, come on! Uh, go, go, go! Yes! Enemy tower has been destroyed! So we just destroyed that tower. He still has one remaining on that side. Hmm, my troops... Look, look at those guys. They're just flanking around the side. Oh no, he just spawned a sniper. No, oh, flip away, this is beautiful. Okay, get a catapult in the middle. Get this here. Get one air balloon. Just to see if we can prevent him from charging. Uh, knights are gonna go in the middle. Uh, archers are gonna be standing here on the front line, just firing. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Who's... No way! Okay, one more flying fortress in the middle, and balloon on this side. Hopefully what we can do is intercept his balloon over here. Because he's shooting my towers from distance, and I can't really do anything about it. I can okay, flame! Fireballs! This <laughs> is so awkward about play stuff. This is just too hectic, but yet again, absolutely amazing. I don't like that balloon at all. Fireballman, can you do anything against that guy? I don't think you can. That guy's just standing. Oh my goodness. Yes! Yes! Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, uh oh. Bad, 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 bad. I did not anticipate that at all. The time is going, running out. Still nobody's victorious. Oh my goodness. This is just too hectic. Let's get a catapult in here. Those guys are charging across the river. His fortress is intact. Well, maybe not almost intact, but we know they're gonna be able to. Oh my goodness. Nobody's gonna win this. Who win? Yay! Okay, let's just, let's just zoom out a little bit. There we go. So basically, we won. My liege, you have been awarded gold and XP. Let's continue this. Let's do one more game. Anubis. Ooh. All right, what do I have? I'm gonna go for Flying Fortress straight into the middle. Swordsmen are gonna go this way. You're also gonna have some archers defending that bridgehead. Oh, look at my little bomb guy over there! The Boom! Oh no, okay. Whoa! Fireballs! Die! Okay, we got those guys in here. Battle Balloon is also gonna go into the middle, actually. Okay, those guys are doing wonders over here. Those archer guys. I'm gonna actually send a Swordsman squad down that lane as well. And archers, please defend the tower at all costs. Rotate this. How are we doing? Just look at those little, like, uh, cat tails even. Okay, I'm nerding about. Ooh, there's a big guy on this side. No profession by any means, ladies and gentlemen. No profession by any means. We have Flying Fortress into the middle of the goals. Hopefully we can get his tower. How did we... Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that. Get the catapult in here. Get the fire bowmans in there as well. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening over here? No way! Look at this little machine gun! Little Gatling gun! Uh oh! Boom! Boom! Catapult! Get those guys in! Come on! We need more defensive! Defense! Defense! Full defense! Okay, that guy's gonna die. My, however, you know what? I don't think I can do this. Oh, he's got this guy incoming as well. This is gonna be bad, 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 bad mojo for us. Let's get those guys in. Oh man, look at the guy with the Gatling gun. Okay, catapult is falling over here. Whatever it was. Oh! Who 
are we facing against? Ooh, the Demon King! Whoever that is, let me just adjust my headset over here. Yes, it will! Okay, so let's just do this. Flying Fortress in the middle. He does have some troops. Those guys seem pretty, pretty... No flipping way! He's got dragons! Mechanical dragons! No, it's just a dragon, I guess. This is really bad for us. He's gonna catapult on this. Let's flank him. Let's flank. Let's throw a lot of forces on that flank. Because nothing is coming that way. However, we won't be able to protect the other flanks, I guess. But uh, we will see. Okay, let's just... Ooh, boom! Done! Dead! Archers, shoot that dragon down as soon as possible. Fire bowmen, do the same, please. Swordsmen, move in on that flank. Oh my goodness. Khaleesi? It is a mechanical dragon. Okay, let's not focus on that because we need to win. That guy is, uh, is very close to us. No, 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 no. Our tower is taking damage. Okay, mechanical dragon is down. Archers into the middle. Oh my goodness, he's got stuff coming here as well. All over the place. Fireball! Oh, time. Okay, fireballman. Go, 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 go. This goes over here. Look at my uh, flying fortresses moving in on his towers. I'm gonna have one more. Do damage, please do damage. Okay, oh, somebody's coming over here. He's almost toast though. Got him, got him, got him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is full map control at this stage. Is it? Well, I think so. Uh, let's do some fire over here. Can I fight the dragon? <laughs> Okay, let's get those guys into the middle. Let's get some archers on that flank. Perfect. Who else? Battle Balloon goes that way. Fire. Ooh. Okay, that might have been a little bit of friendly fire. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So, so, so sorry. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move like I saw. So, Demon King, how are we doing over here? I'm sorry, Demon King. I've crushed you in uh, like two minutes. My liege! Ladies and gentlemen, that was Skyworld, Kingdom Brawl. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And now we're playing some I Expected You To Die, which is hands down one of my favorite VR games ever created. Like me and my wife, we played it so much when it first got out. But obviously that was some time ago and I have pretty much forgot everything about the missions and puzzles. So, I hope you guys will enjoy this. We have a few missions to choose from. We have Winter Break, Spy Training, Deep Dive, Friendly Skies, Opening Credits, and Operation Squeaky Clean. We also have Vacation, First Class. I think I'm gonna pick, pick uh, Deep Deep Dive. This was one of my favorite missions ever. It's super hard. And no vacation. You'll need to destroy Zor's top secret submarine. Mm -hmm. We don't count on using an escape pod. We find those things at the bottom of the ocean all the time. The people inside are usually pretty dead. By the way, this is this is an absolutely must-have. If you have VR, if you buy VR, buy this game. You will absolutely love it. Woo! Oh. And let's -a go. Okay, so we need to start the engine manually. This is the engine, right? As I see it. Okay. That is not good. Welcome to my little submarine. Oh. Mmm, delicious. Okay. Uh, I just ate. What is that, by the way? Ooh. Uh oh, okay, that's bad, that's bad, 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 bad. What do we have here? Okay, there's a little thing over here. Can I? Okay, that is how you do it. Hole secure. There's holes over here. Anything else? Nope, that is pretty much dead. We do have a screwdriver. So let me see here. We need to start the engine. There's no fuel in the engine, so we need to get fuel. Reserve fuel is in this line, which is kind of broken. But we do have a fire extinguisher here in the back. Can I grab this guy? Oh, we need to kind of smash it, right? Can I smash it? I don't know if we can smash it. We also have... What is that, by the way? Okay, I remember this a little bit, but not that much. 
Let me see, let's put that back for the moment. What was in this guy? Okay, so there's, as you guys can see over here, there's a grenade. And that grenade is kind of blocking the whole engine contraption. So we need to remove this grenade and put it somewhere else. And I'm not really sure if this would be the best place for it. Okay. Okay. We're pretty much screwed again. Oh, I know, I know. We need to get a pin. And I guess this is a pin. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Panic. Okay. Let's fix that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> it was a close call. Okay, so now I need a pin for that. And I know there's a pin somewhere about, but I haven't, I can't really figure out where it was. But that means we can pretty much start this now, because the nade is easily in my hand, right? But we need fuel for that, and the fuel comes from this guy, but it's kind of broken. Oh, I know. Uh, how the crap, how the crap did we break that? Did we just break it with... Perfect, amazing. Let's just get this back into action. Let's get the pin. And let's pin this up. Okay, I do remember a little bit about this, all right? Let's just close this temporarily. So what do we need to repair this? We can open this. Okay, we need to get that fuel into that somehow. Engine start. We also have a little bit of notes over here. Okay, can I put the notes like this? Zoraxis Industries. It is a self-destructing abort code. And <laughs> I guess a self-destructing abort code is something we actually need, but this ain't easy. I guess two, let me just put it like this. 2538, and there's one more piece just down below over here, perfect. So the code itself is 72538. Repeat for each, let me see here, for each number. Step one, turn the dial. You know we should have, this should actually be, uh, let me see, can I grab this? This should actually be over here. Just so we have this in front of us at all times. Boom and a boom. So self-destruction abort code, 72538. Repeat for each number. Step one, turn dial to the number. Okie dokie. Set Q band if odd, set Z band if even. Confirm number. Okie dokie. But that doesn't really help me. What does it say? Agent. Here's a small gift to repay your meddling. Hope you don't mind. I kept the pin for myself. Doctor. Oh, by the way, there we go. Water pump. Not sure we need a water pump, but we're going to be needing that eventually. This is this little thing. This is, I guess, this is in case. In case of flooding. So we're going to be doing this. Amazing. Reserve oxygen. Oh. Okay, perfect. I think at least. Let's see. We do have. I don't think we need that flare again, especially now. Okay, that is in case of fire, so that's gonna be much needed. I'm just thinking. What do we have here? We do have the sandwich. Well, I am. I mean, I'm hungry. So let's just eat that and be all happy about it. Open this valve. Is it like this? Can you drink this? Hmm. Let's just do one more and then just close this. Like a so, like a so. Okay. And then what? Uh, zip. Get the cap and I guess we're gonna close this and zip. Engine running. Yay! So, hull breach flooded, engine, oxygen all green, everything is amazing, engine start. Uh, are we ready for this? Let me, oh! Okay. Um, oh! Perfect. What is in this? Oh! <laughs> Surprise! Oh, okay, there's something in here as well. Oh! Let's ascend, I guess. Lady? Uh oh 
Oh oh. Oh oh. Okay, pa panic. What do I do? Oh, 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 water. Water. Oh. Close. No, don't vent the oxygen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, this is this is a little bit panicky. Oh! Thank you, lady. What? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. 7238. Repeat for each number. Band. What? Okay. 7. 7. Turn the dial. Q is even. Z. Okay. Q is uneven. Zoop. Okay, that isn't good. Then we have two. Okay. Oh, panic. That is even. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Eve. Yeah, lady. I know. Uh, uh, there we go. There we go. And then it's five. Uneven. Pull. Three. Uneven. Pull. And eight. Even. Steven. <laughs> this game is so fantastic. I do remember the missions. Like when you sit, once you sit here, everything just comes back. Lady, no. Oh, baby. Hello. Oh man. Oh, this game. Well, you did not. Okay, 438 for not playing the game for two years. I take that as, as a good sign that I still remember the game. Woohoo! Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. This is, by the way, Robo Recall. One amazing game. I'm not very good at it, but still. <gasps> You can actually catch bullets. Look at this. Oh, right, maybe not. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, sir. You, you know I'm sitting down still. Rebel Ready's quarterly earnings call is scheduled for later today. Oh my goodness! Did I say goodbyes? Um, oh oh. Okay, this is bad. I'm sitting down. This is the beauty of VR. You can sit down and still enjoy it, right? Okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video of the Oculus Rift S and some gameplay from it. I absolutely adore it to bits. Uh, hey, hey, hey now. Hey now. Oh. Hey, sir. Oh, that's a nice gun. Anybody else? Oh, here we go. Hello! Uh oh. I know, because I'm so amazing! Uh oh, no guns. Can I have a shotgun? I do have a shotgun. Hello! Oh, that's a nice rifle. Give me that rifle. Not you. Rifle! Oh no! Oh! I have no idea where the camera is! Ow, ow! Anybody else? Oh! Hello! How many? Did, did I win? 24 out of 22! By the way, can you pick up those balls? You can, right? Oh, look at this! Oh, so close yet so far away. Okay, that is a crappy angle. Let me just go over here. There we are. Okay. No, no! I said goodbyes! I just said goodbyes! Okay, this is gonna be the last one. Come on! Oh, oh. Okay! Oh, oh, that hurt. 
My feelings! I'm gonna I'm gonna use my imaginary guns on you. Ooh. Hello! Okay, that was bad. Oh come on! I have no idea where the camera is, I'm sitting down. Ooh. Oh hi! There we go! That is going to be the f grand finale. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'm Charles. I have no idea where the camera is. Hopefully you guys can still hear me and see me. But, oh, hello. Can I borrow this? What a grand finale. Hello. Bye. Bye. I don't want to watch behind. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, one more. Okay. Turn around like this. Like an assault. Where is this guy? Okay, he's over here. Okay. Sir! <laughs> Woo! 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 Can I sum up? Sir! No. Okay. Ye are beautiful! Bye, everybody. I'm Kiralis once again. Oh! What happened to your face? No, no. You're so pretty though. This is this is incredible. <laughs> this is so incredible. <laughs> bye everybody! Once again, bye bye bye. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Kiralis. Do hit the like button, check out the links in the description, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not gonna look behind because otherwise I'm gonna be fighting. Bye everybody. Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Ow!